You know, if you work on your Goldwing long enough, you're probably going to end up adding some electrical accessories like lights. And that means you're going to have to deal with wiring issues. So today, I'm going to talk about what I think is the best wire stripper on the market. And that's coming up right now on Cruise Man's Cool Tools. This is the Vice Grip wire stripper from Irwin Tools, and I think it's one of the best tools in my toolbox, especially when it comes time to working with wiring. That's because it doesn't work like any other wire stripper. Now, what I used to use all the time was one of these, and I don't even remember where I got it, but I've had it for years. And the problem is I never could uh, figure out exactly, you know, which gauge wire to, uh, cutter to use because sometimes it wasn't very accurate. But you don't have to worry about that with this one from Vice Grip. So what makes this so special is when you insert the wire here, uh, you can see these uh, clamps come down. This one has like a few teeth on it that grip the wire. This one actually has one tooth that kind of grabs and doesn't really cut the insulation. It just kind of causes it to pull apart. So when you squeeze tightly, you'll see now it's actually stripped that insulation off the wire. And what's really special about this, you'll notice when you pull this off, none of the wires underneath, the, this is a stranded wire, none of these have been damaged. And that was the problem I always had with this wire stripper, is I always ended up cutting a few of these little strands in here. Here is a 22 gauge. Uh, which is very common. You would use this uh, on your Goldwing. No problem. It just strips it right off. And as you can see, none of the strands underneath are damaged. Okay, now in addition, it's got some other little features. Uh, it has a wire cutter built in down here. So we can just slip our wire in here. And if we need to trim it off, you can cut it. It also has a crimping tool in here so that you just put your insulated or non-insulated uh, butt connectors or whatever type of connector you want and it will crimp those down for you. So it's really, really handy. Now this little depth gauge will actually allow you to set how much wire you want to trim off. So let's say you want to get a half inch and you can measure. There's a scale in here where you can measure. Let's say I want to set it to a half inch so I can now, butt the wire up next to that gauge, and I'll get a perfect half inch, and then I'll just twist it off, and we're ready to go. Now, it also works on some thicker wire. This is a, a 12 gauge. Here you can see, trims it off no problem. These are all stranded wires, but if you have solid core wires, it works as well too. Here's a solid core wire. Let's say we want to put a new connector on. I've got a connector here. I can simply uh, trim that off using the wire cutter. Trim it off, put it in here, strip it, and it's ready to go. Now, if we want to, say, install a butt connector on there, and uh, just instead of the, uh, the other connector, simply slip it on. Slip it onto here. Put it in the correct color, and it's crimped, ready to go. Very simple to use, does just about everything you need. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the crimping section, uh, because sometimes if you're working on the motorcycle in a really cramped area, uh, it's hard to get this, you have to get these handles over those wires to crimp them. So sometimes I still use this one because it has the crimper right up here on the top. Now it has some others down here too, but a separate crimping tool might also be necessary, but I can use this in 95% of the cases. You have the depth gauge. You can flip this out of the way if you don't want it, so that if you want to uh, trim a wire, let's say this one right here, you know, farther up on the wire, you just move it out of the way, and there's your, your trim right there. Also, if you want to do an intersection like a solder, it's perfect for that. Here we've got some uh, lamp cord, uh, two wires, and there you go. There's your strands, perfect condition, no problem at all. Now, let's say you've got some Romex wire. This is your household wiring. This one actually has four wires in it, uh, as you can see, with a surrounding uh, uh, sheath on here or protector. So how does it handle that? Well, let's put it in there and try it. 
takes a little force, but there you go. And it leaves the insulators underneath undamaged. So these wires are now undamaged. So if we want to take our copper ground out of the way and put these three wires, you can then strip these three. So much for that work. So when you look at all the features of this, it's got the, the depth gauge for deciding how much wire you want to trim off. You, of course, can flip that out of the way. Uh, it, it has the ability to cut wire and crimp your insulated and non-insulated connectors. It's actually one of the most versatile and one of the best tools I have in my toolbox. And it works on any wire from 10 up to 24 gauge. This is my recommendation uh, for one of the best tools you can add to your toolbox. If you'll look in the description of this video, I'll provide a link where you can buy these on Amazon. It's a great tool and it's one that I use all the time. If you like this video and you want to see more Cruise Man's Cool Tools, please click on the little subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. And please share this video with your friends and click that little thumbs up button. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Cool Tools.